shit restart. Hello everyone, how good of you to join? Welcome back. Welcome back to our lunar station. We've just upgraded now to the officers as are the second tier on the moon. And we still have that mission here. Dependence on deliveries from Earth makes it easy for Drake. Make your colony more autarkic. So we need to produce food um, on the moon. First of all, we need to attract 500 officers and we need to produce the lunar lunch. Lunar oh, lunch is actually something that they inspection? want. And lunar lunch is actually something that I can produce now. Sure we have the moon crops already. So I can just go ahead and start with my next production right away. This one's probably, though, really expensive, especially when it comes to energy. So what I will need to do once again, another solar collector or solar array that I need. And yes, let's just build this one here. And there we have it. And this will cost me 1000 maintenance costs once again. Those guys here don't have the credit maintenance modules, right? So I can add them now here and thus reduce the amount of credits that it costs me, right? So we f by 50%, basically. So they are not that expensive while still providing all the energy that we need. And with uh, the amount of energy, I can now go ahead and have my next block somewhere, most likely here. We actually also have now the big protector, right? So this one here, the large shield generator. Um, it might be actually, yep, we could actually have it now here. To be honest and save a bit of space right so we don't need that many huh protectors then anymore i think we might actually do this one let's get rid of that street here sorry pals you're without protection for the moment and have the protector now here this is the really large one so we can still go ahead and add some more houses here very good that's something we need to do. And as we can see, just in time because the next meteor shower is going down already. We can also go ahead and sell coming some of these sustenance packs. Thing. They're actually quite worth it. So a bit of money coming in passively that we can do. And let's just go ahead and I guess upgrade more. So we need to upgrade more of them. We are producing titanium plating right now. Um, 20, which is quite fine. And we still need more of them after all. So let's go ahead and upgrade more of those to offices. And the Lunar Lunch should also be coming in now. Oh, sorry. We haven't built that yet. So I need to go and build the Lunar Lunch then as well. We are the 300 offices. Over here we have the next large one. I could also merge them a bit better to be honest. Um, so we would have one over there and one down in this area. Let's have one down in this area. And... There it is. We already have our bio enhancers production in this area, so I'm not going to add something new. We still have the city there, and I would like to have another large one just here. Right, so this whole area now is connected with those large protectors. And that makes it possible to have now the Luna Lunch fabrics over there. Here, for example. must have tried the food here as well i'm glad you're not expecting and your boy they have big modules tubes. transfer route suffers from inadequate supply of goods so i'm just going to redo the street layout here so we can add them then in this area right we don't need quite a few of them we don't even have enough for now i'm pretty sure that we have enough base resources i just need some building resources let's have a second one so that it's positive. Perfect. Can we reduce the maintenance cost? We can't. Eh. It's fine. It's fine. With that, however, Lunar Lunch is in, so the offices are growing. And I would like to go ahead and upgrade a few more. Oh, bioenhancers. Of course, they also want bioenhancers. And there we have it. In the beginning, it was only small steps. But now you stand firmly and your colony has And we've also place. unlocked now the fusion the reactor. The core of the lunar licensing program. Fusion energy generation. It's all theory still, but I believe in you. And there it is. We are now able to build the first fusion reactor. 
not for a while though so don't get your hopes up too high this one is extremely expensive so one of them cost me 700,000 credits 90 titanium plating but more importantly it consumes fusion power cells those fusion power cells they're not easy to produce we need helium and we need deuterium helium i can actually get here on the moon by using one of the mining sites by deuterium i need in produce in the arctic that's quite a long way because in the arctic we are not that far yet let's just go ahead and upgrade a few more people here in the center of my little colony that's it fine they're not really paying me a lot of taxes, but overall we can unlock more buildings with that, and buildings is important. Um, the anti-grav compensators we have unlocked now, androids on Wildwater Bay. So far so good, that's the moon for now. We are coming back here once we are able to build the fusion reactor. We still have the bio enhancers, unfortunately they are way too expensive for my taste. One of those cost me 1800 on the maintenance. We still have... Ah, what the heck, let's go ahead and build another one. We still have 10 rare earth metals that we can um, consume. So I'm going to head and, yep, let's have this one here. And then we can add more of these modules then. Unfortunately, we are close to the, the mountain side here. So I need to be, well, let's say creative in order to build those modules there that's still possible there as well right so that's the edge of my base that's basically what I can do there we have another road then and this one costs me 3000 there's nothing I can do to reduce that so we just have to be happy we're producing six let's go to our trade route real quick bio enhancers I need 36 actually um, let's go ahead and add the other six that we've just built now Renewing parameters. that's going to help us a bit here on the balance but that's it. Let's go back to Viridian Coves. In Viridian Coves, my ships are back. <laughs> and we have a second try now at destroying Drake's confirmed. fleet. Let's just try this one. They're doing a lot of damage. I can't believe that. Alright, we got a missile barrage. That's something. That's something we can use. We got actually two of them. Very good. They're repairing themselves now too. Which is not really helping. Um, how many more do we need? Oh, we still need a whole lot of them. Over there, I guess. Yes. That's suicide ships, unfortunately. Green to go. Yes, sinking. they've destroyed one of my ships. Doesn't matter. Let's go over there. We have the missile barrage. Actually, we could use. Let's do that. Perfect. They're doing a, a sweet amount of damage. So I don't have to worry about it. And let's also use it on them. Okay, we also got support fleet, EMP pulses. Let's get to the other side. Alright, let's destroy them. There's quite a lot more. We actually have two support fleets that we can call for this. I'm tempted to use them. So we should really use everything that we have here for those invasions now. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> but we've lost one just within a second. At least they're fall off for now. We do get a bit of combat experience that we can use to yeah, basically upgrade our ships again in the near future, Enemy but detected. it's certainly hurting All us a lot. Engage. Let's continue. Battle stations we still need attacking. to build a few more houses there. We're under fire. Because we need the workforce for the second bridge. And we should be able now to finish this bridge there. Bridge we are perfect. Side. So let's finish that bridge. And we can now continue with our next productions. Look at that. That's space for factories, for farms. We basically can use all of that here for our juicy Viridian. Uh, for our mega city that we need. Now back in the Arctic. What we need to do here is... Yeah, we need to unlock deuterium for our fusion generation, right? So for deuterium, hmm, we do need 1,500 scientists. That's a lot. 1,500, that's more than 
four times, five times the amount we have right now. So I need to go ahead and expand my Arctic settlement. For that, I have let's start with the fish. The fish is the first thing that we always need to expand. I'm going ahead with two of them right away. We might actually import the fish later then. For now, that's fine. I would love to have one more mining site, or we can use a solar array. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and build it here at the far end. That's a bit of energy. And I'm going with another one over there. Ah, wait a second. Here. That's fine. So that's the energy that we need. And the base itself. Let's continue with uh, the building. The building of the houses. So in that area we should be able, perfect, to have this whole row full with more people. That's beautiful. Right, and we could do the same thing over here as well. Transfer route suffers from inadequate supply of goods. Another block. And this one here actually we could fill up with more people as well. Uh let's see. Yeah, that's better. Very good. Lots and lots of new people. Actually they want of course the community center. So let's go ahead and have it here. Actually, the community center doesn't really read need heat, so I'm inclined to put it there, right at the edge. And canned food is definitely low, so another cannery will do just fine. Let's have this, these houses there, and then the cannery here. Very good. So around this we can have then more houses again. Let's go ahead and do it actually. And for canned food we should be fine. We are also of course importing the vitamin drinks. It's ah, just so tranquil. So that's serene. tricky in the future. Let's upgrade. We need to upgrade more. We need that 1500 scientists and that's it's quite a long way to be honest. At least that is another major Construction breakthrough. Options expanded. So we have the next one, the Pharma Lab, and the Stimulants with that. Uh, as we can see, we're probably going towards a thousand scientists now. How's it looking with my consumption? Yes, canned food. Canned food is there, and the neural implants is actually also going down. So we need to be a bit more careful there. Nah, who am I kidding? Attention. We're going to upgrade anyway. Under provision of Doesn't matter. Consumer goods detected. And there's a few more. Oh. Uh, still not, expanded. but the methane extractor and the gas power station we've unlocked. The gas power station, besides looking extremely nice, I love that building, is providing a lot of energy for us then. Um, and let's also wow. see, came in out of offer, the hmm. let's take Good the metal choice. foams and let's sell some of the surplus that we have. Fine. Alright, so with that we can upgrade more and we should probably reach 1,500 scientists now for that beautiful base here this block those guys how's it looking yes there it is we have unlocked deuterium we've also unlocked the quantum computers that's something we need for world water beta and later very very expensive production chain but deuterium is actually the one that i was looking forward to because now we could actually go for um our fusion reactor if we had the money for it back in wild water bay what we need to figure out now is what do we expand to be reading coves right so cheaper goods of Consumer course but also um, farms demand. that don't require a lot of workforce because in wild water bay we have 11,000 people in reading coves it's probably going to be around 200 Consumer to 300 analysis. people right now um, for example the for beef that commodities. we have there the cattle ranch um, that's requiring 50 people per farm and module on the other hand, we have, for Attention. example, the rice that's only 15. So I would like to keep my beef and soybeans, detected. for example, in Wild Water Bay for now. But I can move now the rice and the vegetables, especially also the vegetables because we need so many of them. I can now move them to Viridian Coves. Let's go over there 
there we already have a shortage of rice and organic food and the bridge has also been finished so let's just jump right into that material wise we are fine in the reading hoofs there is the bridge let's finish the construction done. it's yours perfect and with that we have now opened up this whole landmass and that's exactly what we need lots and lots of landmass let's just go ahead and have that road all the way to that oh my goodness that's beautiful here And just here in this little tiny block, I would like to now start with my first, well, new rice farms. That's basically what we can do here. Right, and we can really have a lot of them in the area. That's more like it. Um, before I continue, we could also have a look at the modules here. So we have the workforce maintenance that I would like to add here in this corner, right? So we can have three per rice farm um, that, I, yeah, that I'm going to use here. This is reducing the workforce drastically. And it's it's totally adding up over time then when I have like 30,000 rice farms in the area. Same goes with this one, this one, and this one. Perfect. And then I can just go ahead and have the next rice farms beside that and there we have a whole bunch of new rice farms now as well two times uh, this area unfortunately yes it would be nice to have just one big copy function and just do it the same here but unfortunately that's not here we can add yeah as I can see quite a lot more rice than to the areas we are producing 450 right now that's certainly not enough though right so we would need more the same with the vegetables so that's quite a lot of grindy work to be honest um, what I can do at the same time is I'm going now over here in this area and this is where I'm going to build up the major Viridian Coves town right so Viridian Coves needs a lot of workers as we can already see and I would like to have this city in this area so for that we're going with a major road as always up to this point and then all the way to that point here probably going to have a center point here somewhere a center crossing a major big crossing let's just see how many blocks of houses we would like to have then like that also on the other side uh, I can still go with a few more Yes, and that's probably one of them. So that's the center. And the same thing with up there as well. And then we just have one major road all the way back again. Now that the rice is finished, one more thing. It's a lot of work, unfortunately, but it's necessary for a good foundation. We go ahead now with the vegetable area. For that, once again, I'm going to have a little logistics center we have the energy we have the workforce we have the vegetable farms i can have this one here this one has the workforce once again and we're definitely going to need that for these fields because they actually use a lot of workforce right so let's go ahead and have this one that's 144 workers for one of them right now so i add then these drone racks at the end of it and that's reducing it to one so they basically don't cost me any workforce Right, so I can have a lot of them in the area without consuming, well, a lot of people really. And that's basically what we would be doing then here. Alright, so that's looking not so bad. We have now a production of 640 fruit and 400 rice. Let's just see what that does to us, right? So we still have this whole production there. We are um, getting a lot of rice now from the space station right now. And I would like to do one thing now. I would like to have two more trade rods now. That is the Viridian Coves with all the 400 rice. We can actually go up to 2000 rice. Isn't that nice um, at the end of it? But for now it's 400. That's one New transfer. transfer. Route. And then we have the fruits that go from Viridian Coves to Wildwater Bay. I could also have the factories in Viridian Coves, but then New again, it does cost workforce, delivers. right? And energy, and that's a pretty important factor the energy the energy we will be able to transfer from the moon pretty soon but right now not let's just see what i can do here we get rid of all of that and that's basically all i can do we have so many rice production here that i cannot get rid of that for now right so we do need more rice 
and I guess more fruit as well. Let's get rid of that fruit. All right, I guess fruit is better. Yes, this one. All right, we're making some bit of space here in Boil Water Bay now, but I still need more. We can also get rid of the rice trade route here now. That's 2,600 actually that we get back. Right, so that's a bit of money. And I guess the fruit, fruits we were not importing right now from the space station as far as I can see. Were we? This one here, I guess. Yes, there we actually have one. We're importing a lot of fruit right now for 10,000 on the balance. So let's go ahead and have more fruits. We can also do the same thing with the algae then. Right, so we can save a lot of money this way. One of those factories cost me 92. Um, so we're going to save a lot of money just by having more of them coming in then from our own factories. So basically this whole area is going to be one big rice field once again. Let's have it go all the way there. We still need something for logistics. So I'm going ahead and have the logistics center up there. And just to be sure, let's have another one. Attention. Under provision of specific over here. consumer goods detected. Now, that's what I call a real rice production. That's the whole area now. And we can now use this whole rice finally to get it to Viridian Cove. So all of the remaining 800 rice. That's costing me around 3,000. Boy, Review actually I think route. importing it is a bit cheaper at the end. And what we can do now with all of that space? Well, basically we can delete more rice farms. Let's just see. That's a really cool thing. 900 surplus down to 400 but we have the space we need for the new production chains then so that's this area perfect 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 and while we are in well water bay i will need to continue with another very expensive production chain and that is the luxury food for that we do need more soybeans so it's those factories here and they are really expensive for specific consumer products so a few more modules here fortunately that's one of the farms that doesn't consume anything, really. Right, that's for, for the soybeans. 60. That's probably not too much, though. Warning. Unfulfilled demand. Each one of them consumes 300. 900. Unfortunately, I also cannot lower that. That's the end. Anyway, I can. Um, that would have been amazing, but nope, there is no such thing. Energy reduction, though, I could do here. Right, so this is reducing the energy a bit. That's 28. We could still have a few more of them. Once again, World Water Bay is under On attack. We need to defend. We need to get into the freer and destroy every single ship. Uh, like it's not that much. A bit of fuel, a bit of EMP pulses. Uh, let's continue. Lots of destruction awaits. Hopefully this time we don't have to wait for a second fleet. Otherwise I will put my hand head in a, in a sandbox or something like that. That's actually two ships Underway. there. Two smaller fleets merging right now I think. But what we could actually do is, yes, I could use the EMP pulse on that. Ah, that's very good. Nuclear missile fire. That's one. Oh, there's a bigger one coming. Let's use a support fleet on that. Especially since I don't want to take that much damage. If the support fleet comes out, they take the damage mostly. And we can focus on something else. There's actually two bigger ships over there. We don't need to destroy that many ships this time. And off they go. We actually also got an achievement. Defeat 10 enemy invasions. We are under attack. Let's also repair my fleet there real quick, even though we don't need to. And with that, we should be going back up again on the balance. Boy, we are down on money, though. It's insane. Having such a city and not really that much money. That's how dogs are. 
no reason not to come and we could actually we should actually import even more fruit now for the vitamin drinks so that's something i'm not doing that yet oh yes there we can do it so another 400 Enemy right detected. and with that we can also reduce the amount that we now import right so let's do it that, that and save another 4k the deliveries will arrive and let's so use some of that now detected. on some All additional transfer route factories enemy detected all hands engage we are under attack here they come that's just my fleet over hey, here hey. by they're, they're just shooting at the, the fleeing ships but it doesn't matter anymore because that battle is over and we're just going to have a few more of them perfect vitamin at least for now Yes, uh, money-wise, we will have to think about something because I'm not ready for the fusion reaction yet. We have an invasion right now and it's totally destroying our balance, as we can see. What I need to do here now is I need to quickly get rid of those ships. Otherwise, we are going bankrupt. So we're losing a lot of money at the moment. We need to destroy 44 ships with... Our little fleet. Oh, 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 no, not, do not get in that. So let's just try and do something here. A bit of magic, because that's what we need right now. Let's use an EMP pulse on those smaller ships, doing a lot of damage on them. Very good. We got some nuclear strikes here as well. There's actually more of those strikes that we can use then. This one. Oh boy, we're going down on the money quickly there. Perfect. Um, not going with the dread out. Battle stations. <laughs> There is two more ships here. We need still 14 more ships. Enemy detected. If I'm not quick engaged. about this one, we are actually done for. So this might be the end of the game if I'm not doing this quickly. And I'm certainly not allowed to lose my ships at all. And that Dreadnought is probably backing off now into the other direction, hopefully. Full speed ahead. Or we can squeeze through. Right, let's use once again nuclear strike. They're repairing a lot right now themselves. Look at the damage. Okay, we still have the support fleet. Under attack. We're sinking. Coordinates confirmed. Into the lifeboat. Okay, the thing is, those thingies are actually launching Full speed ahead. suicide bombers themselves, and there's no way I can get my ships fast out there enough. So we still need uh, around four more ships. There we have them. Let's try and time that missile barrage. Okay, they're backing off again. Poo, that was very close. That was... That was too close. That was almost the end of the game. So this is repairing itself now, recovering. Oh my goodness. We need to hurry up because those ah, attacks are really hurting us. Luxury food, we already are now in that mass production over there. So we have the wine and the beef. Um, and I will need to go ahead. So I like it actually with the revolution mod. It really feels like a fight against this orbital watch that is constantly trying to annoy us, but it's getting really life threatening at some point because basically those attacks are completely isolating our cities. And the other thing is of course the energy crisis, which is getting more apparent now with the high tech production. We cannot keep up with the amount of energy anymore, even though we are already spamming energy modules, right? Even though we're doing that, I cannot get that energy up again. We still have some modules that I can use for those 
So that's consuming a lot of energy right now. Right. There we get it back. And here. And I'm going to build two more in this corner. That's actually doing something. Very good. We're very close to having the luxury food even or evened out. So I need to finish this one. Another soybean and another beef. Even though, yes, beef is insane when it comes to energy. That's the limit. That's the limit. And here we can still add a few more down there. Perfect. 500 energy we still have out. I cannot build any more arrays other than in the city itself. We still have a bit of space here that I can use. Um, 93, 90, that's fine. 94. Right. And here I can still have one more. 88. Why not here? Well, because I have farms here soon. So that's the wine. Let's go for a few more wine modules there. That's 10. And then we have a bit more beef. So I need to have one more farm at least. Let's try to get a bit of that money back because we are down. These productions are really expensive. Let's see if we can sell something. We can sell some flax, some soybeans, some algae, some beef and the remaining of the microchips. Oh! And silicon also is for sale now. Look at that. There's a bit of more money coming in again. That we can do to quickly expand with the beef. Which we probably will have to do now for this whole area. And for the first time, we are even now with the luxury food. I would like to keep it like that. So luxury food is even. That was a huge amount of work though right so the luxury food alone that was just insane um the intelliware is where we need another 109 to ah, reach that so intelliware bio enhancers is sustain sustenance packs we actually need i haven't seen that that is the mod doing its job here so what we can actually do and i think sustenance packs is not that expensive we can go ahead oh, oh finally listen I'm ah we're getting the introduction of our you sector project there are lives at stake. I will repay you, I promise. There we have then the sector project here. I think that's for the workforce problem or workforce crisis that we might face. Um, let's go ahead though and have a look at my production for the sustenance packs. Oh, all right. Of course, it is expensive. And we Attention. need a lot of them. Under provision of specific consumer goods detected. Right. Unf unfortunately, in this case here, they produce a lot. So we don't need to spam that much of it. Right. So that's 42. They require the organic food and the moon crops. So we can still have a whole new one here as well. All right, let's also finish this one with some energy modules. The same goes with you. Uh, let's not be too dirty there. Righto, that's actually a lot. Let's just see. We need 35. Perfect. We can actually get this one over. This is only costing us a micro 12,000. Nah. We need to go below the 50 mark. So let's say, oh, 49. Right, so we stay below there. It's not costing us that much. And I hope Transfer that this is going up now. Registered. Thank you, it is. Also the amount of people. Uh, that's looking good. 41, 42. And we're jumping to 43 pretty quickly with that now too. So I guess Intelliware is what we need. 30,000 on the balance again. And the cool thing is once we have the Intelliware, we can upgrade. We can upgrade to the highest level. The investors. Um, 43. That's a bit of money coming in. Intelliware, Intelliware. One last major step that we need to achieve in the city. For that, we already have a bunch of productions down here. So that would be the flax that we already produce in some quantity. I need to increase that though. So let's just have a few more here. Right. Oops. That's... You've never seen that. Warning. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Oh, wait a second. Before I built that street, what kind of modules can we have? Logistics, energy, Warning. workforce. 
It's only 90 energy though. Products. It's not doing a lot. It's costing me more than I would gain from it, I guess. Right, so with those, yes. That's really not that much. Let's just build a few here, be done with it. Well, let's just have some three more fields on that side. That I might then have for a bit more flax. Flax is actually something that's cheap and easy. So that's not our major problem. The major problem will be in the factories. That's one thing. The other thing we need is the silicon. Now let's just have a look. Silicon cost me 3,700 per mine. There is no module, once again, that does anything that's useful other than the energy. So I'm going with some energy modules there. And let's have another silicon mine. Ah yeah, what the heck, over here. There it is, 44. Why did we upgrade now with the silicon? I guess we're still growing a bit here. Right, so that's a bit more silicon. Let's use the energy. Ah, very good. That's what I call space efficiency. And over here, another one. Right, so we need more logistics. Uh, actually, let's have the logistics here. In this area, there we have the microchips then that I will still need. So silicon is coming in, and with that I can now have my microfabrication hole once again. This is a really expensive one though. Let's just see, 20, 25, another one here. Actually, let's have the logistics, I guess towards the mountain somewhere, in that corner. And then I can have, yeah, one more, one more. Then that's the end of it and two modules anyway. And then we could also have, look at that, 1,000 people need to work here. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But what gives? Um, workforce is not the problem here, energy is, because it's also consuming 200 energy. So let's have those modules there to solve the energy problem of these factories. Right, 45. One last step would be now the IntelliWare. I do have the production here, but I'm going to move it somewhere else as well. Over there we have still space for it. So here we're going to have more IntelliWare um, factories now. And there we have the factories. Once again, let's add some more modules to it. Let's just see what it does. 88, we're down to 88. I can still squeeze in another factory here then. Um, and here, that's another 15k once again that each one of them requires. We can have quite a lot of them now. It's doing something, of course, for us. With each one of these factories, we get more IntelliWare and thus more people can move in, right? So Welcome let's also have... First of all, let's purchase some building deals. materials that we still need anyway. And let's sell some more silicon. Because that's basically giving me, well, well, quite a lot of money. Alright, the factory is growing once again. Actually, this is a lot of factories we need. So I have no idea how we can actually go for the investor productions then later. But for now, that is fine. I, I probably could also ocean. purchase a few more robots. Nope, I cannot do that. Um, but we are very close now to even, Steven, with the IntelliWare. So I would like to have another module there. And then it's all about my robots. Six more here and... Boom! We are positive with IntelliWare. We actually still have a bit of room to play around with um, when it comes to production because we still have a surplus of microchips there and flax for a bit. They don't cost me that much. So they're cheaper than the luxury food, but overall it's fine with that. A few more people. Uh, very close to 45. With that we do get a new title, by the way. We are then a local leader. I guess that is something. So, um, and yes, actually, the moon wants the IntelliWare, so we might have one more factory just for the moon, people. And we can still have... That's it. Alright, so we're now equal with the microchips, and that's 26 IntelliWare that we can send to the moon. And they actually only need three. <laughs> so I'm going with, let's say... 
costing me already. But those people will be happy and we have more offices than on the moon. I can actually upgrade now. A few more people again. Let's upgrade a few here. Let's check our executives. And yes, bioenhancers is Sorry. the last thing they want. 45 we have. And then we could actually go for a nice juicy upgrade of the executives to investors. And then my city is going to look like a new quantum computer. Let's go to the moon. I have a few things to do here. First of all, I would like to... I would like to sell something. We can actually sell a few things. We are pretty low on the money. Let's sell That's some of the fine. Lunar Lunch, but more importantly, the Bioenhancers. 300k for each one of them. That's beautiful. With that amount of money, well, we can do one thing now. First of all, I will probably need... Yes, another one here. Another module. Rare Earth Elements. We have three... 6,000 one of them costs me. I would still need another one though. Um, we are getting... We still need 30 more. That's insane. Updating transfer options. Alright. We need 30 more bioenhancers. So we definitely will need another mine that we have there. With its absurd amount of costs. <laughs> Let's have actually a big one here because I'm probably going to need the factories in this area too. Then we're going with the keeper or the, the, the greater with its own little logistics center. Let's make two. And we're out of energy with this one here too. So let's have the energy modules for this. Get a bit of energy back. I will probably though still need to build also another one of these here, right? That's another thousand that this one costs us on the balance. I guess a thousand is fine. Here, for the energy. Let's have a small protection that we can use then. Now, with that we should be having now a nice surplus 33 rare earth elements and with that we can now focus on the the bioenhancers. Now, they really, really cost a lot, though. Let's just see how many I can then really squeeze in. And once again, energy will be the important module for those guys. That's one. We need 30. So, seven we already have. This one, I guess I can squeeze it in like that. Yes. All right, another block. I love those buildings there. We're, yeah, we are right on track. I will though, however, need a few more energy modules. And then we can go ahead and have the next one here. That's 21. And then probably one more. Uh, twenty nine and thirty. Let's make it thirty two. The only thing we now need is a bit more workforce again, so I could use some of those modules there. So I get a bit of my workforce back again. This last one here, especially. Let's use the drones on this. Very, very close. So in that case here, I really can't do much more on the moon. What we can do now is though, I can increase my transportation by another, well, I guess 30, yep. That's increasing the cost though from 1,500 to 12,000. I think actually when we do this one, we are negative. Updating transfer options. Very close. So as I said, it's insane how much we need. 200,000 for the first time. That's something. And now we only need neural implants. And then we are ready for investors. For the neural implants. Attention. 
We have used all the mining sites, so we are actually going for the next island in the Arctic. We have four islands here, right? So this is the smallest one. We're going with the other larger one that has one, two, three mining sites. One, two, three mining sites. Actually, this one costs me... Ah, okay, 600,000. This one costs me 600,000. They cost me equal. So let's go with the bigger one, since we still get some building space out of it. So here I can do this. And let's claim it. Very good. The custodians already gave you clearance. Another one. And let's go ahead, choose the mining site, Please and get the molybdenum out of it. Right. Um, I actually will need to do this two times though, I think. So we're also going all the way down here. Another one. Logistics, of course, the further they are away, the more logistics they need. Um, and for now, it's still easy in the Arctic to get the energy production up and running. Um, in Wild Water Bay, we are really at the end of that. So I cannot do much more. Here, Molybdeno. Mm, so all I need to do really now is having more of these neural factories. Space is still a bit fine here. So I'm going ahead with, let's have one more chain here. So this one goes all the way up there then. They are really still expensive and actually look at that we're out of money so i cannot build more for now let's try and sell some hey, stuff thanks for coming over it's very dangerous actually because you if there's another big invasion to wild water bay this might be the end right now so let's go ahead and sell some stuff let's go ahead and sell some intelliware uh 20 is fine that's six thousand on the balance at that. least that is something so with that we can work a bit new transfer route. unfortunately Deliver. no one else is purchasing items from us I'm right now Right, so Bioenhancers, not this. that much. Thanks. And that's 200,000 again, so we could still go ahead and upgrade a few more modules there. Now, the newer implants are ready. We are producing 60 once again. We are already transporting 200. I never realized that. And we can now get all of this over there. Perfect, without really a single Renewing additional cost. Parameters. Right, so the additional newer implants now, as we can see, is increasing the balance once again pushing us to 46 and we have still one more thing to consider in Wild Water Bay Renewing and that is the rejuvenators. Now the rejuvenators, we still have some algaes. I am actually already producing some of that stuff here now. So I'm going ahead now with another production here. How many more rejuvenators? 33. Um, Righto, that's 46, and then I still need a few more modules here. And there we have it, plus 7. And that's actually sustainable. Perfect. And what we can see now, finally, finally, is that my executives, well, they want to upgrade. They want to upgrade to the next highest level, that is tier 4, that is the investors, and I think we should be doing that, should we not? Let's go for it. Sacrifices and this is going to skyrocket Wild Water Bay. I don't believe it. Can we upgrade? Yes. Very attractive properties indeed. There we have it. The investors the and don't tell me that this is not absolutely sexy. Those buildings, let's do this quickly. Because I'm going to need that money from them. And especially from the upgrades. Level 47. We're pushing right now. Here they come. A few upgrades and this one there. Enemy detected. All hands Absolutely in fantastic. That's a lot of money coming in right now. We are at 50k just from those guys here right now. And we're going to need them. I love those buildings. There's nothing more beautiful really. Let's go for uh, this Drake guy once again. 29 only this time so it's a small orientation. And it really doesn't hurt us that much. We've also officially reached the mid-size business title. So at least Underway. that is something with the investors. Okay, I still need to wait for a couple of my ships to repair. Attention. We can marvel at that. And the cool thing is, uh, first detected. of all, of course, some trade routes are negative now. That's because Drake is blocking them. But we can still go ahead and upgrade more houses while we're at it. We have the resources. And I would definitely Enemy like detected. to all hands guess here in the, in the really downtown, right? There's a few more. We're under fire. And here they come. Yeah, this block. 
fantastic, really. 80,000, level 52, level 51, and as we can see, 52 is just within reach. That's the money influx that we're waiting for. That's the money that we need for some proper expansion on the moon to reach all of this. Stay tuned.